Um, around the time um, Herodotus, around the birth year of Herodotus, um, there was a king, uh, I think it was a king or an emperor of um, <clears throat> an empire or kingdom known as Lydia, uh, which mm -hmm. was located in the area west or the western region of what we know today as Turkey. Uh, the king was known as Kaundulis, Kaundulis, yeah, if I got the spellings right, or the pronunciation right, sorry. Um, so this um, king um, lost his uh, position and his life because he could not stop himself from bragging or posting um, on how beautiful his wife was. Um, so I did not only lose his life, and lose his position but his actions uh, brought to an end a dynasty that had been in existence for about 22 generations that's a long period of time like there were 22 um, kings and I think mostly kings from his family until he was the king himself so how did he lose his uh, his position, his life, and also brought to an end uh, a dynasty that had been in place for a very long time. Uh, this is the story that Herodotus tells. He says, Kaundolis had um, a, a bodyguard he was very close to. They were very close. He was, he was, his, he was his favorite bodyguard. This guy was called Gaijis. Um, they were very close, um, and they used to talk a lot. Um, and then um, uh, one day, Kaundolis uh, somehow started talking about the, how beautiful his wife was. Um, Herodotus doesn't give the name of the wife, um, but Kaundolis was telling Gaijis, my wife is like maybe the most beautiful wife in the kingdom and probably in the world. And, um, and um, Gaijis was not impressed with his talk um but gandulis went on and he was like oh you don't it seems like you don't believe me um i'm going to uh, make you see her naked so that you, you you can believe that she is indeed a very beautiful or the most beautiful woman in the kingdom or maybe in the world <clears throat> so um while gaijis was not really interested in seeing the queen naked uh, Kaundulis insisted on that and he told him this is what's going to happen. Um, you come to our um, private chambers or the bedroom and hide behind the door and <clears throat> there is a chair there when the queen comes in every evening she takes off her clothes and then she puts them on, on the chair then you'll have a very good view. And um, Maybe Gaijis, because he kind of feared the king, is the king telling you this, or you are just a bodyguard. Uh, he did what the king um, told him to do. So uh, uh, when night time came, he went hid behind the, the door of the king's bedroom. And the king came in, the queen came in, she took over her clothes, she put them on, on the chair, and then she went to bed. But turns out she saw Gaijis but she pretended like she didn't see him and um, they slept and then in the morning um, she ordered that Gaijis come to her presence and she told him you know very well that in our culture or the rules of this land it's not acceptable that anybody should be any see anybody naked unless they are their spouse so you've broken that rule you saw me naked yesterday night and I saw you. And now I have two men walking around and both have seen me naked and that's not acceptable. Um, so she gave him conditions and she told him uh, to correct the problem, um, one of you has to die. It's either my husband, Kaundolis, the king, or you. Uh, you it's you to decide. Uh, if you if you if you, you, you if it is if you decide it's my husband to die, then you're going to kill him. If you you don't want to kill the king, then I'll order you killed. And Gaijis was disturbed, of course, and he tried to 
talk to the queen trying to find a better or a more acceptable way out of this for him but the king the queen was adamant about what she wanted done and so in the end Gaijis chose his life over that of the king and he asked the queen so how is, is this going to be done and the queen told him the same spot where you you stayed last night to watch me naked is the same spot you will go and stand and I will give you a sword or a knife and when the king comes in we are going to bed you emerge and stab him to death uh, and that's what happened and Kondolis lost his life uh, Gaijis married the queen <clears throat> he became the king of Lydia and um, his generation became the new dynasty and there were five kings from his descendants four five plus him that ruled Lydia and and the last one of those is Cruces who upon uh, realizing that um, father-in-law his father-in-law I think it was father-in-law or brother-in-law who was king of the Medes in which later became part of Persia, had been um, overthrown by Cyrus the Great. He started war with the Persians, and that, that's how the Persians uh, started the war with countries in, in my Asia Minor and then to the Europe, and in particular the Greek city states. So that's how Kandolis lost his life. Uh, he could not stop himself from bragging how beautiful his wife was.